and welcome back to City Line. Jessica from, of course, the Tacoma Historical Society, and of course, she's the director, nothing but the best for this couch, has moved from the City Line Comfort Cafe to our comfy couch. Jessica, welcome back to City Line. Thank you. Glad it to is be here. so great to have you here. Now we're going to talk about the second annual City of Destiny Festival. So first off, tell us what is this festival? So basically the festival is our way of celebrating Tacoma's diverse history. Yes. Um, this is the second one. Last year was kind of centered around the 150th of the Northern Pacific Railroad coming to Tacoma. Yep. And this year, we're bringing in some vendors, historic um, heritage groups, um, and doing some fun stuff. And it's going to be centered around uh, fashion in yeah. Tacoma. Right up my alley. Here it is. So it coincides with a current exhibit called, I love this phrase, Bustles to Blue Jeans, 120 Years of Clothing, Tacoma. What's that all about? And how do we transition to this? Yeah, so um, we've had this exhibit up since uh, around the start of the year, about February, and it will it is up right now, so people can go see it, and it'll be up to the end of the year. Um, but it focuses on fashion and how retail has changed mm. from the 1880s to the early 2000s. Wow. So not only do we look at the stores and how people are interacting and consumers are interacting with fashion, uh, but we also have a wonderful um, kind of timeline of clothing examples. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and now I get to go home and look in my closet and look at those. <laughs> so let's talk about, um, first off, what you brought for us. Um, yes. and what and This is my favorite part. Note the gloves she's putting on. Tell us why. Uh, in order to protect the artifacts yes. from any oils on your hands or anything that may be on your hands, it's important to uh, use gloves. Yes. And I've got special permission from our curator uh, to bring these items today, so kind of excited. So what's the first one? Uh, so the first one that we have is actually a um, paper bag from the Rhodes Brothers store. Yes. So the Rhodes Brothers store started in 1892 as a coffee shop, yep. and then it opened as a, one of Tacoma's first department stores mm -hmm. in 1903 and was around until 1969. Which is why I can tell you my mother bought my first slip from Rhodes and I thought it was just like the most beautiful thing in the world. And Rhodes used to be in the Villa Plaza, which used to be out there in Lakewood. Now I'm really dating myself. Yes, that was the actually their uh, second store. Yes. And their original store was on 11th and Broadway. Yes. Um, and that building is still it's around. Still around, thank goodness. Still thank around. you, Tacoma Historical Society. <laughs> what is this? So this is one of the original hat boxes. If you go see our exhibit, you'll see all sorts of wonderful hats that we have on display, hat boxes from places like Rhodes, um, the Bon. The Bon, yes, mm -hmm. when it was just the Bon as opposed to the Bon Marche. The bon. And then Macy's. Yes. Yeah. Yes, um, and so this one, we have one of the examples of this gorgeous hat. <gasps> oh my God. That we're pretty sure is um, circa 1950s, early 60s. Jackie Onassis, there it is, the pillbox. And this is just one of the really cool items um, that we have on display down at the museum right now. You know, I mean, it, and this, this exhibit, it, 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 it tells so much of a story about how we have evolved as well, um, looking at some of the um, clothing and thinking about where we were culturally during that time. What were we struggling with? What were we like politically at this time? So how has, how has it changed over time? And you're gonna say, well, obviously we don't wear, you know, um, pillbox hats anymore, mm -hmm. but what's the real essence here? Well, what we kind of get into is how fashion itself repeats. Yes. Every few years it repeats and brings things back. Um, but one of the biggest changes we see is in how we are engaging yes. with fashion. So we start off with nothing in Tacoma, then we get these huge department stores, just stories with these glass tea houses on the <laughs> yes. top and they're super fancy, um, you know, and then we start getting more individual stores and then suddenly boom, 1960s, we have the Tacoma Mall and it pretty much wipes out downtown. 
and all the major stores move into the mall. And then of course, now what we're seeing today yes. starts in the early 2000s with the internet, online shopping, the mall starts to suffer, Yeah. right? So it's just these patterns of change and there's these big moments where it changes how we as retail consumers and as people who, everybody wears clothes, right? Everybody right. needs them how it's changed. And so it's really fascinating yeah. to look at that as an arc. Well, then we look, I look at also, I think about the equity of clothing. Um, back in the 1950s, there, the thrift stores did not exist. I mean, they probably had places you could go. I remember we used to call them hand-me-downs. Mm -hmm. But thrift has turned into a huge disruptor of the fashion industry. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I can imagine the women who wore these hats would have never imagined uh, this day when this kind of hat can be worn by anybody regardless of gender. Well, and I think it's really cool in our exhibit because you see it goes to the early 2000s and it shows that, you know, clothes that I was wearing yes. in high school oh, yeah. are in the exhibit. And so it just shows you how, you know, it, it's, it's there for all of us. I can just imagine the 1980s aha moments I'm going to have when I come see this. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here, for helping us to remember how important history is um, and um, providing glamour while you educate us about <laughs> how we lived prior to 2024. And I want you back on the couch sooner than later, okay? Sounds great. Thank you. Looks like we've got some gentlemen over there in the City Line Comfort Cafe. Um, hmm. Could that be our Grand Cinema Film Festival coming up? It is. We'll be getting to them after this quick break. Don't go away. <laughs> 